I, it, it wasn't one person at the door, it was two people at the door. So <laughs> both, both Chris and, uh, and John are here, as well as JD. JD is still here. JD's always here. Well, he's not always here. It's a very good thing when he is here. That yeah. has to be said. And um, so I want to talk about the weather. And they, they're getting fed up talking about the weather. No, no. I will. If you want to talk out the weather, you go ahead and talk out the weather. But can I just remind everyone, there's nothing exciting about the British weather. Oh, there is. There's, there's great excitement about the British weather. <laughs> it rains, it rains, it rains. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. No, no. On Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, in Exeter, there's going to be um, sunshine and sh- the occasional shower. You hope. Well, I've been looking at the five-day weather forecast because I'm very concerned. That I'd like to get a detailed forecast for Heavetry Park. You're extremely optimistic, William. Well, the five-day the five-day forecasts are out. Well, They're out now, and um, yes, it says sunny intervals. I'll do a five-pound bet with you on Tuesday. What? Well, what you what? Well, you're going to look at this again on Tuesday. That, you re- it's, all, that it's all going to Go rain. Go closer to the mi- microphone. I bet you £5 that it's going to rain and your fun day is going to be <laughs> caught off. <laughs> I see. So, well, no, I, I shall accept that wager. <laughs> uh, we'll spend the £5 on coffee. <laughs> so, it won't, it, oh. it's, not, it's not a great benefit to me. But I've, I've been looking at the five-day forecast, oh. and both the Met Office and the BBC say exactly the same thing. And that- they say sunny intervals with a light shower at about four o'clock. That is correct. This light shower, yes. So That is correct. I JD says that that's correct. Yes. So, d- Chris, it's no good holding up a screen because that doesn't work on radio. What, what does your phone tell you? I got the Met uh, Office. Slide, slide down a little bit. Uh, this, 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 uh, that's a bit better now, yes. Sp- yes? I've got the Met Office weather app and it tells us that it's going to be sunny on Monday. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's all right. John's already placed his bet. <laughs> so I shall be talking to him in great detail on Tuesday on the We Not Know show about 12 yeah. o'clock. Yeah, that'll be good. And I may be five pounds better off. <laughs> J- JD, what, what does your what does your huddle tell you? I'm, I'm looking at the same Met Office thing. Oh, so, you, so you're going to the Met, directly to the Met Office? Yes, Met Office, yeah. yeah. Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Because, mm. you see, I've been listening to the BBC and I listened to the to Radio 4 and they, t- they wouldn't do a five-day forecast. They said that um, it's very uncertain at the moment. That's all they would say about bank holiday today. I think that was the whole bank holiday. But certainly Monday, and then on the on breakfast TV, um, they said it's a bit mixed. Most of us will have at least one fine day. So all they're saying is that between Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, one day might be fine for most of us. Well, I think that really the radio and the TV are a bit. Um, you can't. I mean, if that's all they've got to say. You wouldn't rely on any of that, would you? Because it doesn't mean anything. I've just bought up the Apple Weather app. Oh, the app. And it says the same. It says the same? Yeah. Well, you see, on Tuesday, John was telling me he thought the, the Apple get their information from uh, Yahoo. Yes. You think the same? You think that's yeah. where information comes from? Yeah. Comes from Yahoo? It used to. Well, okay, so what happens... I mean, this is where the British weather, or let me say British weather information, may become very, very interesting, even to people who are not bothered about the weather and live in a studio basement somewhere far away from the elements. Well, I don't know who in their right mind would want to live in a studio basement for that they are. There might be some people. Well, yes. It might get flooded, but other than that, it's very safe. Yes. Uh... But you see, if the BBC, in their great wisdom, decide that the Met Office is far too expensive, even though it may be very accurate, and have a global reputation in various ways, uh, what's going to happen? Surely the Met... Well, I noticed that, that of, the, of the consultations with the phones and the huddle, some people went directly to the Met Office. They didn't go to the BBC or... I mean, in one case, went to Apple, where an Apple, we believe, get their information from Yahoo. I don't have BBC weather. You don't have it on your phone? No, 
I have met off if weather and apple weather. So, in other words, if the BBC weren't paying the Met Office to get the information to put on their app, you'd just go to the Met Office app anyway? Or the Apple app, wherever they get their information? Yeah. So, all I'm saying is that uh, uh, what I've discovered through Twitter, and I'm not going to go into the details of the tweets other than to say they're all retweeted through We Not Know, W-E-N-O-T-N-O. -N -O. Um, but as far as this goes, it seems to me... Um, if if the if the Met Office loses about ten percent of their income, they they could make it up in some way. Um, I don't know how they would make the money, but probably you should go and work for them. Well, they're going to need a few more commentators, aren't they? A few I more radio presenters of our great skills. I think you would make a great one for them. Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll you see sound if, if do, you sound dull enough for them anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't okay. Think you should say that. <laughs> well, the probability is that over the next week or so, there may be some rain somewhere. So stay tuned. You could check the Ke Kendall weather forecast as well. We could do that as well. Okay. Well. But anyway, it seems to me if if we if 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 the BBC are going to get their weather information from. Um, the Netherlands or New Zealand or somewhere or another, the Met Office could be offering forecasts for Auckland and The Hague, so forth. Could be a very muddled situation online and on the radio, wherever you get your radio from. Anyway, um, let's see. Have we, have we, have we, well, I think we've explored this situation. There's going to be one shower about four o'clock on Monday. That's our best information at the moment. And the BBC say the same thing. And they say the same thing. Okay, so everybody says the same thing. Okay. It's going to snow, <laughs> ten foot high drifts, wild wind, and that's my forecast. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this, this next track is uh, by Just Stone. <laughs> 